guys, I just got done finishing that crunk kitchen and filming it and I really lost my appetite after trying to eat that pig's foot. Like, oh, I just can't eat anything right now. Honestly, if you like pig's feet, why? That was the most disgusting texture I've ever put in my mouth. Like, oh my gosh. Man, these fried pickles were actually good, yo. I was really impressed. I'm leaving a couple there for Katie to try, but you just dip them in some ranch? Mmm. One that's still driving to work with the heat on in the mornings in the car because I'm cold in the mornings. Like it's it's 70. Well, it's 67 right now. 70, 67, you know, something like that. But it's cold. Hey, y'all, don't forget that there is no blog TV tomorrow night. We'll miss you guys, but we should be back the next week. We should be. I'm not sure. I think the next week. Whoa, holy moly, it's Memorial Day after that. Okay, so I said tomorrow night, but y'all know what I mean. It's Friday for you. So no blog TV tonight. None, none, none. So we will catch y'all on the flip side on that. But we will still be posting videos, of course. Obviously, duh. Obviously. Obviously, duh. 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 Obviously, duh. Ah. So weird sometimes. Um, a lot of the times, you know, whatever. We fell in love in a hopeless place. We fell in love in a hopeless place. We fell in love in a hopeless place. Stop doing and do that and uh, wackos and whack offs. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? You know the drill. I'm going to pick up my little kid from daycare. Oh, isn't he such the best little daddy in the whole wide world? And then, uh, going to eat some lunch. Speaking of lunch, I was listening to the radio this morning when I dropped her off and they were talking about the popularity of uh, food trucks. In Alabama, the main food truck is a, a Mexican food truck. Like you just, that's what there is. There's taco trucks and you go over there and it's hit or miss as far as reputation because a lot of people either hate them or a lot of people love them. Granted, it is authentic Mexican food that they just basically have in a cooler and they cook the food in the truck and that kind of stuff. But the advantage of those food trucks is they're mobile. They're able to move around from location to location. And it was really interesting on the radio this morning hearing the different takes on it and their perspectives and just hearing the, the thought of it. And uh, one of the broadcasters was talking about how uh, he was in LA and it was like 6.45 in the morning and he was looking for a little place to eat and to get a donut. And he turned the corner and uh, he saw a line of about 30 people in front of this food truck. And he was like, at 6.45 in the morning, what in the world? But it was a, it was like a vegan, a vegan shake truck or like a, uh, had uh, shakes that were organic or something like that. But over there, you know, body image and appearance is really popular and that kind of thing. So um, another good point that was made was that LA is about a year or two ahead of times as far as trends and fashions go. Soon before we know it, we'll probably be seeing food trucks popping up all over the place. I mean, that's just a crazy concept. Like, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Get my crunk kitchen and let's get mobile, yo. You know what I mean? Like, you could just stock up stuff at Sam's, get your truck. I mean, you'd have to have a lot of money, but I'm sure, you know, you'd get a write off everything. And there were actually uh, lots of food trucks in New York, and there are people like food truck drivers getting shot. They're shooting each other because location is everything and if one food truck driver comes into another food truck driver's location it was a throwdown which is just insane you know ice cream man everybody loves the ice cream man and that guy can drive around from neighborhood to neighborhood and just you know dollar fifty here dollar fifty there but I mean when you actually get like a meal off of a truck and you can just up and go to the next location the next day, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of a crazy cool concept, so. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Friday. It is the end of the week. We have another long weekend ahead of us. No blog TV tonight, guys. We are gonna be busy, 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 busy. Dad started his second round of chemo today, or yesterday, uh, so I need to check on him. I need to call him right now, actually, and see how he's doing. Am I the one, only one, again, today? who occasionally forgets to just put on deodorant in the morning. Is that TMI? <laughs> Probably so. Um, but you know, it happens sometimes, so I said to myself, oh, hello, I said to myself, why don't I come get a little trial? 
you know, a little tiny one that I can keep in my purse or something. Is that gross that I forget that sometimes? Sometimes I'm just in such a hurry, though, that I just don't remember. It doesn't happen all the time, but just occasionally, you know? Like, I get out of my routine, I do things in a different order or something. But I don't like how any of these smell. This is way too, too, too much information that I'm sharing with you guys right now. Y'all probably think I'm totally gross. <laughs> this made me LOL. Look at that. Anti-monkey butt. I've seen butt taste, but I've not seen anti-monkey butt. Oh, don't worry, there's a lady anti-monkey butt too. For all you ladies that get monkey butt. You don't need to get monkey butt. And this is the worst buggy ever. Watch, watch this, watch. Ready, watch the steering. Oh, oh wait, there it goes all by itself. Watch it try to turn this way. Oh. And there's not really hardly anything in it. Is it not always the Walmart buggies just horrible? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. I have nothing in my buggy. It's not that it's heavy. Got a bunch of smart ones because we're bad. Walmart needs to invest in new buggies very often. They're always bad. And I wouldn't be vlogging from this terrible angle except that you cannot push this thing with just one hand. If you use just one hand, I seriously almost ran into somebody a minute ago. Jeez. I think this is the worst one I've ever had. What the heck, man? What the heck? Hey to all our new subscribers! How are y'all doing? Leave comments. We'd like to talk with y'all. Even though we may not comment back immediately, we'll get back to you with you within the next day. I should like put a stipulation on it. Like, uh, if you comment, we have a two to three day turnaround time of commenting back. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed, or your money back. But uh, yeah, thank y'all for subscribing to Crunk Kitchen as well. That has been so fun. I've got to think of something. If y'all have any suggestions or ideas, I think Sugarland fan had mentioned the pig's feet, and I was like, genius. I was kind of already thinking about, you know, pig's feet is always ghetto, and uh, but just in, when she said it, it just blew it to the top of the list. So go ahead and if you got any suggestions for Crunk Kitchen, just try to think of stuff crunk you know like grilled cheese pig's feet spam pizza all that's already been done so uh, anything else that you may want to add or see me try to eat I'm gonna start doing that I'm gonna start at least testing anything that I create just to see if I'm uh, just to see what kind of reaction I get because I mean honestly some of it does seem like it would taste good I, I'd never that I can remember had spam and so I was like, I'll try it, and it was not good. And I remember a long time ago trying pig's feet and actually liking them when I was a kid, but I think they were cooked or prepared in some other way and not just out of the can, so I don't know. But yeah, thank y'all for the comments. Thank you for liking, favoriting, sharing the videos. Twitter is where you can get the most interaction from me and Katie, probably. Um, we typically tweet back to people before we even comment back on YouTube comments. So follow me on Twitter. Links are all down under, yo. Y'all have a great weekend, and we will catch up in a little bit uh, right now in two seconds, I'm sure. Boom! Transition. Next slide. Oh, I think it's ready. <laughs> yep. Oh, gosh. Hot dog! That's hot. What in the world? You're going to burn them? Hey, guys. <laughs> I didn't put it in there. Yeah. More food vlog. But hey, look, we're trying to be a little more healthy, guys. Uh, smart ones for the win. What is this? I'm getting chicken carbonara. And what have you got? Lasagna, Lasagna bake, bake with, with meat, meat sauce. sauce. Yum. Jinx, let me cook. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. <laughs> okay. Bye. All our vlogs are either me talking about food or me putting the camera on your booty. Back on up, doggy. I was just oh, no. playing Modern Warfare 3 and we're about to watch some TV. Oh, we listened to Dave Ramsey last night while we were eating. We should finish listening to him some more. We should. Bye-bye. Peace. Here's your treat. Eat it up. Open your mouth and say, gulp, gulp, gulp. My eyes are burning. Just Here, just like try one. Will you just try Gross. one? Gross. No, I have to brush my teeth. Crunk Kitchen would try one. Do I look like Captain Crunk? I look like I'm crunk, and I'm wearing my Elvis. Thanks for watching another slow, lazy, crazy vlog today. I don't know, Katie vlogged in public again? Thumbs up for that! What? 
Double night. Like this video if you liked it when I took you guys outside of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime Katie goes outside of the car, you have to automatically subscribe or like or favorite well, or they share. Don't have to if they don't like it. If they like it, then they should. No, you should anyway, just cause. Like, that's very rare. Here, let me just lay in the bed with you guys. Come here. Oh, oh. Come oh, here, come here and on. snuggle me. Oh, snuggle my little butt. <laughs> Y'all, VidCon is right around the corner. Like, seriously, if you want, like, I really, Katie? What? I really want to get a phone that can keep up with updates on tweets and Twitter and keeks. But so with VidCon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keek. And I will keek every... Oh, Lord, help us. However long. So the best way, if you want, like, a live, live vicariously through Cullen and Katie at VidCon, follow us on Keek. It's keek.com forward slash Cullen and Katie, I think. Links are all down in the in the thingamajigger. And you can uh, follow us on Keek because with VidCon right around the corner, that's the best way to keep up with us while we're there. OMG! Ah! Real, and if you really could care less and don't care to be tweeted every five seconds, then you can just mute the tweets. Did you know that? You can like mute somebody just for a minute or however long you want to, and then you don't see their tweets, but then they come back. It's not like you want to follow them. No, no, don't listen to her. She's so... She's... Some people don't want to see her kicks every five seconds. Well, that's the thing with Keek, you can both follow and subscribe. So if you follow, I'm talking about on Twitter. if you follow, oh God, I'm talking about Twitter. What do you mean? I'm talking about the people that are on Twitter that see the notifications every time you Keek. They don't, they don't choose to follow you on Keek, but they still have to see it on Twitter. See what I mean? I'm talking to them, not the Keekers. I'm talking about the Twitterers. There's too many. There's too many um, things going on right now. Yeah, and I'm sorry. you do all of them a lot. For the greater good of our relationship. For the moment. With our peoples. Until people get tired of seeing us. Our peoples in here. Are y'all tired of seeing us? If no, you're tired you of seeing us. Are you tired of seeing Colin tweet all the time? Are you tired of seeing me tweet all the time? And tell me. And everything else. Tell me if you see me. Tell me if you're tired of me tweeting or kicking. And you know what I'll do? Is I'll just give you a big old crunk kitchen. I don't give a. And well, that's not very nice, that. because if they don't want to see it, then you shouldn't force them to. Yeah, if they don't want to see it, they can unsubscribe, or unfollow. Or you could just take that as a hint. No! <laughs> okay, guys. Um, thank you all for watching today. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. Thank you for liking. Thank you for everything. We love your faces. This is Philly D, and you have been filled in. No, no, Katie Pie, and you've been pied in the face. Oh, that's a good one. That's Watch good out, one. if I meet you, I might throw a pie in your face. <laughs> this is Cullen, and I just put the grammar at the end of your sentence. Oh, what? catch you on the flip side. <laughs>